Well, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today for our Job Nimbus 101 workshop. Uh, today, we are going to be workshopping estimates, showing you the ins and outs of estimates and how you can use estimates in Job Nimbus to make your life easier. I'm Daniel. I'm Logan. We're so happy to have you with us. Like Dan said, we're going to be going over estimates. Now, just about every contracting business uses estimates, except for the one rabid badger removal service that uses Job Nimbus. <laughs> Uh, they just charge by the pelt, so they don't need an estimate. But for the most part, if you're a contractor, you're giving out estimates to everyone that you go to visit. And as a consumer of contractor services myself, I've received a lot of different estimates. Uh, the worst ones have just been a few numbers and a scribbled phone number on a piece of paper. I never called those people back because honestly, I couldn't remember what they were for. <laughs> Some have been better, you know, printed documents that they scribble the, the numbers on afterwards. Uh, today, we're going to show you how to make them look even better so your company can look professional, you can give out the information you need, and uh, there will be no scribbles that homeowners like me can't remember what they're for later. So let's get into it. Awesome. Now, I bet you're wondering, why are we in settings? No, Dan said that we're going to jump into estimates. Why are we in settings? <laughs> well, before we get into estimates, we're going to talk about our products and services. Hey, Estimates pull information from products and services in your account. So before you start building estimates, we need to get your products and services together. So to get to your products and services in Job Nimbus, you'll need to go to settings. And to do that, you'll click on your name in the top right corner and select settings from the drop down menu. If you don't see settings, it means you don't have access to the back end of your account. And you'll, if you really need that, you'll need to talk to someone on your team to get that access. Sorry, we can't help you. You'll need to talk to an admin on your team. Once you're in settings, scroll down until you see products and services in the left side navigation bar. And this right here will take you to all of the products or services that you have in your account. As you see, this account has a lot and that's because it has previously been synced with Beacon, one of our integrations. Now, if you sync with either Beacon or QuickBooks, you can actually pull your products and services from either of those softwares. Otherwise, you'll need to click this button right here, add product or service, to start including all of your products into Job Nimbus. In here, you can give your product a name. Uh, you can a, give your product a description, whatever kind of description you want, and you can choose an item type material for product, labor for service. Or if you have material and labor tracking enabled, you can actually add both of those into the same item. Now, material and labor tracking, once it's enabled, it cannot be disabled. So make sure you really want it enabled before you enable it. So let's click product. Now, after you choose your item type, you can choose a unit of measurement. To add unit of measurements and just start typing in, and then click enter. We can type in square meters. I'm not entirely sure why you'd want square meters, but it's your company, it's how you measure things. And as you noticed, as I started typing things in, more units of measurement uh, came up for me to choose from. Now we can choose a cost for this product. Cost is how much this product costs your company. The, and price is how much you can sell this product at to your clients. So once you have all that information in, you can click save. Or if this is going to be a product that you're gonna be creating over and over again with a, some variations, add a product variation. Here you can choose a different unit of measurement, a different cost and a different price. This is just gonna save you a whole bunch of a time if you add in a product variations for the same product that just has a different price or a different cost. Once you've added all of your products, you can click edit to edit the product at a later date, or you can uh, click on these ellipses and duplicate the product or even hide it if you've decided that you no longer need to use that product or service on your account. So now that we've gone over products and services, how to add them, let's actually go in and create an estimate. All right, so if we're gonna create an estimate, first we have to go under a contact or job. Uh, we're going to go under someone very important to us all, which is uh, Mickey Mouse. This is probably <laughs> the right time for us to let you know that Disney, in their endless quest to acquire new and exciting companies, 
has looked at uh, buying Job Nimbus, which would make <laughs> Daniel an official Disney princess. Of course. None, none of that is true. Please <laughs> don't repeat that. <laughs> don't sue us. Uh, but if you are looking to add an estimate to someone who is not a multi-billion dollar entertainment industry, you can click the three dots up here and choose add estimate from the action menu. Alternatively, you can head to the financials tab and click the add estimate button like God intended. All right, once we get inside at the top, you'll see the job or contact that it's assigned to. And then if you have beacon enabled, you can either choose to use beacon or not. We're gonna choose not because it's simpler. Here's where we choose that design template that we made last week. You remember that Dan made the best estimate ever. So we're gonna choose that. It is the best <laughs> estimate. <laughs> we'll touch on saved estimates in just a minute. It's very powerful. And here is estimate date. Usually I'll just leave this on the day that I created the estimate. Now let's, uh, let's run through a simplified estimate I might build for a roof. Now, of course, the thing you need for a roof is shingles. So we will choose shingles. Uh, and I think I will need about four for this project. Those are some pretty big shingles. <laughs> they must be. <laughs> then we're gonna use the other thing that we need, which is labor hours. Uh, we'll add this in and I think I need three hours to install four shingles. Uh, now there was not a price assigned to the item labor hours in our products and services. So we need to add it here. There is zero cost for material, $25 an hour for labor. I'm also gonna go in and add my taxes since I didn't add those when I built these as products and services though I could have done and saved myself some time. Uh, and that's all I need for this roof. So I can hover over this item, click the X to delete it. And I'd like the customer to see what these shingles are uh, because as you know, there are multiple kinds of shingles and we wanna make sure they know they're the ones that go on a roof. So I will choose roof shingles.jpg and add that to my item. There we go. Uh, and that is the basics of an estimate. Gee whiz, that took a long time to make. Luckily for you, you don't have to take that long every single time that you create an estimate and you shouldn't take that long every single time you create an estimate. If you're going to be using the same estimate over and over and over again, you should be saving it as a saved estimate template. And you can do that by clicking on this button down here, save as template. What they'll do is I'll save all the line items that you've added and add it up here after you've named it. And so you can choose it next time you create an estimate. So let's choose this 30 year roof saved estimate. As you notice, it populates all of the products. So all we have to do is come in here and say, you know what? I think we're going to need two roofing felts and the price of a, the pipe jack has been inflated. So it's no longer a, we're no longer selling it at a 35. We're going to sell it at 41.2. Uh, Oops. It didn't save my 41. There we go. And now, as you notice here, we have a section that hides all of the line item amounts below it. I wanna add another section for materials and we're going to show the line items here. So we're gonna put that right above roofing felt. And there we go. Let's actually add in a customer note. Uh, as you noticed last week, we a change the section title for customer note to more information for you. So we're gonna add in this is a note. We can add in any information we want the, the customer to see right there. We're also going to add in an internal note. This is for our team members to see any information on the job or on the customer, anything they need to know, we can add in the internal note so they can look at it in Job Nimbus. So there we go, we have an estimate. So since we've created it, let's save it. Once you save your estimate, it'll bring you right to the estimate information. So at the top, we can see the basic stuff that can be uh, pulled and used in reporting. Then we will see a depiction of what it looks like. You remember we added your roofing pals and uh, our very important Latin over here. And it's called more information for you, just like we built last week. 
And then down below, this is what we see internally that the customer doesn't see. Below that, there is the activity. And if we trim it to all, we can see that this was created by Charles Schnell and what day it was created. If we choose to update this estimate in any way, that will also show here, or if we send it to a customer, similar things like that. Up at the top, we can use the action menu to view it as a PDF, to download it, we can edit it, email it, change its status, duplicate it, delete it, or convert it to other kinds of financials. Next week, we'll talk about these other kinds of financials, what we can do with them, and uh, what's cool about them in Job Nimbus. Thanks for coming to our session today. We have about 23 of these up on YouTube now, so go ahead and search for the Job Nimbus YouTube channel and go to the 101 workshops. We've got uh, webinars on just about everything. If you would like to read instead of watch, check out our knowledge base at support.jobnimbus.com where we've got articles with screenshots and step-by-step -step instructions. Or if you want to talk to a real person, hard as that is to believe these days, uh, go to our support team at the phone number email listed on the screen. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Bye.